Hey guys, I'm Jeremy Payne, your host in today for That Was History. So as you know, we like to talk a lot about space and things that happen concerning our past and future knowledge of what might be out there in such a vast galaxy. So we've mentioned satellites and whatnot over the past and how there are so many out there. We've also mentioned that there are numerous spaceships that have made travels into space on specific missions to acquire certain knowledge. Well today the spacecraft we will be discussing is an unmanned spaceship stationed around Mars to help us better understand the planet, its atmosphere, and its surface. So I'm sure you have heard of spacecrafts like the Voyagers that were sent into space to gather information to better our knowledge. Another one that helps us learn about Mars is the MRO or the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. On March 10th of 2006, this craft would start an elliptical orbit around the planet. During its passing behind Mars, there would be a long period of lost radio contact. Scientists were unsure why this happened, but said that there would be periods of long-term radio silence while the MRO conducted its experiments to gather more information regarding the surface and the atmosphere in detail. So what might we learn from the MRO? Maybe we'll learn enough to start travel to Mars one day in specialized suits and such, and who knows, maybe we'll discover either another new life on Mars or start a colony on Mars. I know I'd like to visit if this ever became possible. I mean, who wouldn't want to travel into space and see those planets up close? So let us hear your thoughts and comments on this. Is this something that you have a passion about? Leave a comment down below so that we can respond to you and also so that others can learn from your facts and questions. That will end today's Jump Back in History. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button down below and be sure to follow us on our social media sites so you don't miss out on any day here at That Was History. See you next time, guys.